Hi, everybody. It is Heidi at Hen and Chick Studio. How are you doing today on this busy week of a holiday? Not, you know, here at Hen and Chick Studio in Conrad, we just do not slow down. We're always thinking about the next project. And what I just started the camera on is just that, the next project that we're working on. We're so excited about it. We're using another project from the book, Scrap School, and it is called Charming, and we're going to do it in two versions. The fabric that I showed you there at the beginning, and I'll maybe go back and show you again here, is Morrison Park. This is Morrison Park from... Um, uh, Pat Sloan in our show last week. It's like, I'm already forgetting what I'm talking about. And this is the quilt, Charming. We're so excited about that. But when we look at this and we think about all of the different things that we could do, our ideas just keep going. So this, what you're seeing here is version one, and it's going to have a white background. But then imagine, take that quilt and go over here and imagine this um, this is Groovy Garden from Jason Yenter. And imagine if we use a black background. So we are just having a lot of fun. And Jamie, you are getting all yes. that cutting done in just a few minutes because you're using stripology. Yeah, so to get all those squares that Heidi just showed just a second ago, um, real simple, I can, cutting can feel like such a daunting task when you have a lot of squares to cut becomes much simpler with our stripology ruler so I'm just going to show you real quick again what I'm working on I have this stripology ruler here and I have the all the strips cut that I need to have already over here so now I'm going to come back and I need two and a half inch squares so super simple um I had Stacy help me cutting this uh, strips and I had her cut them larger than two and a half so I could really square them up nicely using this ruler. So I'm gonna come back in here. Remember we um, have folded come our, around. Yep, maybe, maybe I should do this. I've already folded the, my fabric in half and brought it up to about the salvage edge line. And I'm just taking a line here on my cutting board randomly to place them. Then I'm going to put my stripology ruler down and again I could put it anywhere in here as long as I take a line and line it up with that bottom of the piece of fabric. I'm going to start over here for addition purposes. It'll make it simpler. So when I start I need to cut the two and a half inch strips. So I need to square it up. I'm going to start at zero and then remember it has the squares so you don't even have to add. So I'm going to cut zero two and a half and then scup over here and then this is going to become my zero so I get that nice edge there so one two and a half let me start cutting and show you okay so I'm at zero and how do you to, tell me if yep, I I'm gonna try to angle it so with the 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 uh there we go I think we can do it this okay. way you're you're fine so I'm at zero and two and a half so now I need to get this edge. Am I going to... No, you're fine. You're fine. This you just edge. keep going. So I'm going to go half, one, two, and a half. So you see I'm starting my count, counting over with each one. So one, two, and a half. So seven, one, two, and a half. Now, of course, you got to look and see where your... Um, I'm going to step to the other side. Yep. Where your pieces are lined up. Mine aren't evenly now, spaced. Okay, so a couple of things though before you go too far. Okay. Because I think this is what is so interesting. So you did not have to move the ruler. Right. And I think so often when we talk about cutting, it you have to move the ruler. But mm -hmm. um and the ruler did not slide right. because it has a like a coating on the back. Mm -hmm. um, and you still want to keep some pressure on it. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. But that helps that it doesn't move. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I've trimmed these down now to the two and a half. So I'm going to get rid of the scraps by just pulling them. I'm not moving these pieces of fabric. I'm leaving them exactly where they were. Now I got rid of those edges. So now I have two and a half inch strips. Okay. And I'm going to let you, don't you want to, which way are you coming in? Are you going, going in that way? way? Okay. So, yep. So now we're coming back in here, and if I I'm using my straight edge that I have already created here. See, each of these are now on a straight edge. And I, I'm sorry about the camera angle. I'm trying to get these that are um, 
the uh, oh, light, light above us. <gasps> and so I'm trying to get it so that we can angle in there. Okay, so. Okay, and so now I've placed the zero just over this fold, okay, so that I can cut it. So then it will create the block. So I'm gonna start at the zero. Now I'm straight two and a half all the way. So two and a half. Remember, slide my blade in. Five, or I'm going to the square, to the next square, or seven and a half. Now, a rotating mat would be helpful so that you weren't ha didn't have to lean or work at a table that's a size where you can walk around to different sides of the table. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, just like that, wham, bam, you pick up. I'm going to get rid of these um, extra squares that I had here, and I forgot to... Uh, get rid of one of the extra strips before. When oh, I so you changed. ended up with little, little rectangles. Yep. Okay, so now, just like that, I got all, so there's the fold that was trimmed off. So four, one, two, yep. 16 blocks of each one of these cut just that quick. I think that is just so amazing. Now, do you want to do it one more time? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oops, let me get this. All right, and while she's getting it prepped, I'm going to turn the camera back around here, so don't mind me as we... Um, Okay, so she is. So she had three-inch strips. We had those all cut from 15 different fabrics of the garden, um, Groovy Garden, and there are some similarities. So like those strips maybe look really um, the same, but they're not. They are slightly different in Jason Yenter's um, collection. Yep, and you can so see they're just folding it up here. And again, if you are just joining us, we are making charming from um, the book Scrap School. And as she works to get everything lined up, I'm just gonna turn the camera up here. This quilt, these two quilts back here in the blue, gray, and white combination are both from um, Scrap School. While at lunch and, i trying to remember the name of the other one. I'll have to look it up. While you're- Sausage or something like that. Gently. Got too excited and moved too quickly. That's all right. Off. Oh, the other one, it all adds up. Oh, That's what it is. Go. So we this is the one I just showed you. It all adds up. Oops, sorry. Nope, nope. Nope. To... nope. And so oh, you've sorry. already got those all um the strips are all down to where they need to be. To, to two, and two and a half, half inches. Yep. And this one since I moved it a little bit, I gotta slide it back up. Using the ruler just to make sure they're still all straight. Coming back. Slightly over the fold to zero it out. And and I'll go from this angle here so people can see too. Five, seven and a half, and ten. Get rid of my scraps. Because this quilt, um, let's see how many it actually calls for to tell you. Like why this becomes so important. You need 656 squares that are two and a half inches. So if you, you know. So imagine each, cutting that with a regular. Uh, you just cut 16 times three twice. So, yeah, somebody can do yeah, the math. Yeah, somebody do the math on that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my calculator here. But basically that's and very, a very steps. efficient. And, I, and if we were talking, that, it could be faster. That's right. So, Jamie, so yeah. what. So there we go. Yes, so she's going to just keep doing this. But I would say what I'm going to tell all of you is that you should join us on Monday, January 3rd to see more about this particular quilt and what we are doing with both collections of the Morrison Park and Groovy Garden. What's on January 3rd? That is our next product showcase. And uh, I have not actually got the sign up. I better go do that right yeah. now. Um, but it is our Facebook Live product showcase at 7 o'clock Central, the first Monday of each month, and that will be on January 3rd. So I would love to see you all there because I will we'll show off where we're at on this particular project. No pressure at all that during the holidays we're going to make two new quilts. Right, exactly. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure at all. So she go, she's going at it again. I'm going to turn the camera around. Look at her. She's just whipping those out, those strips out. This is um, exactly what we're up to. And we hope that all of you have a happy holiday this week. And, yes. and uh, we'll keep working on 
our, our quilt. So see you all later.